My trousers are way too tight to do that, yo. So this weekend, first off, we're in Atlanta, the return of Math Hoffer, man. I'm sure you've seen all the flyers, Instagram pics, the videos, all that shit. We're gonna be back at the Apache Cafe on uh, Saturday the 4th. Shouts to Sonny and everybody else in the organization of that. Main event of that, oh, fucking hell, I'm so out of breath, give me. <sighs> the return of Math, we're back at the Apache Cafe, obviously. That's gonna be so dope, man. We got that, we got the first ever. Uh, you know, street battle, a two on two, whatever you want to call it. We got John, John, and Sire Boy going up against D uh, DJ DNA, DNA, and K Shine. That's gonna be fucking dope. We got Nestle vs Soul, all that good shit, man. It's our second ever event in Atlanta. Obviously, on the Friday night as well, which is uh, yeah, two days time. We have the free event, which is going to be at the Hangar. That's 7 till 12. It's over 18 as well, but it's completely free. We've got a lot of tryouts and newbies in the league and all that shit. And that's it. That's our next DF USA event. That's the April the 3rd and the 4th. Then going back to UK, we're going to be traveling back on Monday the 6th. That pay-per-view is going to be up on Tuesday the 7th. Uh, and we've been getting a lot of tweets about that and everybody wondering when they can cop the Philly event. I can let you all know now it's going to be a joint pay-per-view. So we're not going to announce them. Uh, sorry, release them. Uh, two separate ones. It's going to be a joint pay-per-view for a very reasonable price it's going to be out on tuesday the 7th of april you're going to be able to get every philly battle and every atlanta battle all in one package for a really really good price then uh yeah when we're back from there and we've got all the pay-per-view stuff out of the way the next event coming up is obviously checkpoint number two i'm sure if you've been watching any don't flop videos or if you've been liking the facebook page whatever there's no way you can't have seen that's going on now the main event of that O'Shea vs Luna C. obviously there's not too much more we can say about that battle really you've seen all the blogs and Whatever, it's going to be absolutely fucking legendary. I spoke to O'Shea, I spoke to Luna. Like, they're both going to go crazy in the battle. Trust me, it's obviously it's my birthday party as well, so I told them both, you ain't getting a single penny off me if you don't fucking annihilate the stage. You know what I mean? And we can announce also for that event, we're bringing it back to the, my personal favourite. What a fucking waste. <laughs> my, 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 we're bringing it, fuck's sake, I was on a roll there as well. We're bringing it back to my and Don't Flop's personal favourite ever uh, stage format, which is the uh, the pit format, but with the stage in the middle. Like the most famous battle you're going to see that in is Shotty Horror vs Arsenal, the Rebel. You know that battle, it's the most viewed Don't Flop battle. Anyone I've ever spoken to has said that's their, their favourite format because you've got the, the kind of the the gladiator feel to it, but then also you've got the raised bit in the middle. So wherever you're standing in the venue, you're going to be able to hear. For checkpoint, we're not actually going to be using the lapels. We're going to be using overhead mics and mics placed around different corners of the stage as well. So the ambient sound is going to be so, so fucking crisp. Uh, because even sometimes with the lapels, there's little issues with people get too hype and they start clapping their chest and whatever, and it fucks it up and it ruins the recording. So yeah, we're going to have mics placed all over the room and on the stage. So the sound is going to be crystal clear wherever you are. Tickets for that is £30, they're not going to go up in advance, there's no early bird, late comer, middle, whatever. They're £30 advance tickets until exactly two weeks before the event, which is only about uh, 10 days away now. So you really haven't got too much longer to buy tickets. When it gets to two weeks before the event, however many we've sold, whether we've sold one or you know 200,000, whatever, we're taking the tickets offline. And uh, also there's obviously a pre-order for the pay-per-view which will be out later on but you will be able to soon pre-order the pay-per-view if you want or if not you can wait till Monday the 27th and you can order that as well. But yeah, checkpoint is obviously O'Shea vs Lunacy. We have the new title match because Tony's given up the title even though he beat Yunnan. We have C Major vs Soul for the title match. Shuffle T vs 100 Bullets. Big J vs Marv 1. Yunnan vs Gemini. You've seen the flyer. £30 in advance now, these £100 VIP tickets really have been selling really well as well. Like, I can't give enough thanks to everybody who's been selling these, uh, sorry, buying these VIP tickets off us. It's really, really helping us put together the next USA tour that we're doing later on in the year, which I'll tell you about in another vlog. But uh, yeah, if you want to get the VIP, you get so much that comes with that shit. You get a uh, beanie, a Checkpoint official Checkpoint t-shirt, not a Don't Flop t-shirt, a Don't Flop Checkpoint t-shirt. You get a signed poster from all the MCs. You get a professionally taken photograph with Luna and the other battlers if you want to have that in the VIP area. You get access to the VIP balcony, which is the best view in the house. It's a new part of Ministry of Sound they've just very recently made. Um, and you just get a load of other shit. I have to uh, apologise to all the fans in Leeds because I know when we were at Birthday 6.5, I announced on the mic that April Fools was going to be in Leeds because we had every intention of it being in Leeds but uh, unfortunately we had some issues with the venue that we intended to use and it just isn't going to work out anymore for that date because one we couldn't even do it in April anyway we wanted to do it in April every place we wanted to book was actually booked up for April so it's actually going to be May the 16th but it's no longer going to be in Leeds because that said if we had some fuck-ups 
and it's going to take too long to sort those out so it's much easier if we just relocate back to London so I do apologise to everyone in Leeds that was looking forward to April Fool's because I was really looking forward to taking it to somewhere new for uh, one year or whatever but it's going to be back in London I'm not sure the venue right now but it will most likely be one of our normal East or South London venues you know the normal names um, it's going to be very very good no uh, confirmed matchups I can tell you about yet because we haven't really done too much about it because we've been focused on a checkpoint. But it's going to be May, it's going to be called Maple Fools. You see what we did there, some crazy bad bar esque wordplay. Maple Fools, because I said April is just, April's too crazy. I want to do a Pedro mirror match. And I know a lot of people have suggested that, a lot of people want to see it. The two battles I would like to do at April Fools are Pedro mirror match and Dots vs Tony D freestyle battle. So they're my two ideas. We've got loads of other room, but you know. So anyway, that's the 16th of May in London. Keep a lookout for that. After that, the next event coming up is going to be Beat Fighter 2. Now, if you remember Beat Fighter 1, we had Natural, Dots, um, Rayman, Young May, Skirms, Raptor, loads of other dope battles. That was Beat Fighter. That was last August. It's been a while since we've done one. Now, we haven't got a location for this yet. We're looking to do it in Bristol. So, shouts to all the fans in the Southwest because you always come out in your fucking hundreds and you're one of the rowdiest crowds we've got. So, I'm hoping to do it in Bristol, but it might not. But keep a lookout for that. The main event of that one is going to be Dots versus Raptor which we just confirmed like yesterday or whatever. That's going to be a crazy, crazy main event. We're looking to do some grind battles, some uh, hip hop ones and put them all in one event, all on beat, all three round on beat battles. So that's May 23rd. And uh, coming up after that is the Amsterdam car. Now this is looking fucking crazy so far. That's the 6th of June in Amsterdam. I'm trying to let you all know the date uh, as early as possible because I know uh, even though Amsterdam is quite cheap and I'm hoping to see a lot of you out there I know it takes mad planning to get abroad and whatever so it's the 6th of June 100% the venue is confirmed we're going to Dam we're going to be flying out for like a week or whatever come for just a day the whole weekend do whatever the fuck you want because as soon as the event's done man like we ain't going to be on some diva shit we're all just going to be doing what most people do in Dam and just you know what I mean raving our balls off and having a lot of fun so please come out for the whole weekend like Great, yeah, you know, you know, it's gonna be uh, real good fun, man. Main events of that, we have Archaic versus Thesaurus is going down. We have Big J versus Dirtbag Dan and O'Shea versus Henry Bowers. They're the three battles I'll tell you for now. Arc Saurus, uh, Big J, Dirtbag Dan, O'Shea, Henry Bowers. And like I said, man, it's gonna be a weekend. It ain't gonna be some normal don't flop thing where we finish at, you know, 9, 10 p.m. and then no one's really got anywhere to go and we're gonna be fucking around. Like, as soon as the event's done, we're gonna be partying for two, three days straight. Coming up after that, we have the boat party that we're doing in collaboration with Fresh Island Festival and Shore Beach. It's called Shore Beach. We're doing uh, the Monday of the festival. It's like a week long thing. We're gonna be on the Monday. Now we have our own boat party that we're doing in collaboration with Trap93 which is a dope night from London. Make sure you go to that if you've never been to it before. So shout out to all of the promoters that are involved in this boat party. We have Uno Lavos vs Enigma, Seaslin vs Brucey which is going to be an on-beat battle. Then we have Bamalam and Impact vs Heretic and Danny Jack. That's going to be like the, the war of the lighties they're calling it man. Like there's just going to be so many texts not replied to in that battle and fucking you know Tinder's getting swiped no and whatever. It's going to be lighty madness out there in Croatia man. So yeah that's they're the uh, three battles we got for now we've got we're probably gonna throw a couple others on as well as, as the year goes on but they're the, they're the main events so same thing if you want to get your tickets to the Croatia boat party in the description to this video there's gonna be a link to the main video for that uh, for that boat party and then the ticket link is gonna be in that so just go to the description click on the video go on the ticket link and you'll be able to buy your tickets next blog I'm gonna do I'm gonna tell you all about the summer because we've got so much dope shit planned for the summer like don't flop USA volume what would that be three or four or whatever we have a huge thing coming up with that I'm gonna let you know about we have some festivals we have a massive events we have a new compliments battle that we're now working on which is just gonna like blow the roof off the scene when people find out about that and coming up as well to the end of the summer we're gonna have the Earl roast that like, we haven't got more any details to really tell you about that but we'll talk about that in the future at some point in summer 2015 there will be the Earl roast it's gonna be an international panel not just UK it's gonna be a multi-racial maybe multi-sex multi-nationality fucking multi everything maybe some fat people some skinny some Gaze? Mainly gays. Mainly gays. <laughs> mainly, ga mainly gays because I feel more comfortable around gays. You know, more. So I'll get the invite. Then. Yeah, so we'll have, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a mainly gay, mainly black, um, mainly women. overweight panel. <laughs> yeah, and mostly women. So I want I want female, black, overweight women, and me, which is obviously the you know the kind of thing that I think about in bed most nights. And uh, that's gonna be the uh, roast. Well, like I said, when we have dates, locations, this ain't gonna be an event either. All I can say about that is it's not gonna be like some shitty little thing we're gonna toss together in the break of an event. It's gonna be its own thing. So it's, it's not gonna be part of a Don't Flop event. It's gonna be Don't Flop, the uh, roast, and that is all the event's gonna be. And you can buy your tickets to that thing. And yeah, once you know about that, we'll be back. But we're here in Philadelphia. It's 
fucking great. Thanks to everybody in Philly that came out to the event. It was really, really, really good. Uh, thanks to everyone that's gonna come to Atlanta. Hey, forgot something. <laughs> I was in such a hurry to leave the steps that I actually like, got a crazy part of the vlog. Yo, so we're still in Philly. We're like five minutes from the Rocky Steps and we're about to go get Cap home. Forgot something quite important. <laughs> a little bit of personal information for you there. You know, I guess throw it all in the video. Yo, so we're back at the skate park because it's obviously, you know, I, mean, I feel at like home here for whatever reason. But, but uh, yeah, to the point, the thing I forgot to say was about Checkpoint. Quite important thing actually is a new announcement for Checkpoint as well. Not only with the VIPs and the 30 pounds or whatever, anybody that buys a ticket for Checkpoint, you get put into like a raffle or whatever you want to call it to come to a secret and private training days event on the Sunday. Now, the Sunday is my actual birthday. The event's on the 25th. Sunday the 26th is my actual birthday. Uh, so, we're making Make sure the event's real, real good because I ain't co-signing no whack fucking event on my birthday. No way, fuck that. So yeah, on the Sunday, it's gonna be a private event. We're not gonna publicly announce where the venue is. All I can say is it's gonna be in central London. It's a venue we've never used before. It's an amazing location, amazing view. It's just it's just gonna be real, real dope. Trust me, the only way you're gonna be able to get entry to this event is if you come to Checkpoint on the 25th. There's only a 100 person capacity for this place. I can't stress that enough, but we're not even gonna give 100 tickets out because we've got to get the battlers and the staff in there and the guests as well. So we'll probably only end up giving out about seven 75 tickets to this event. Um, it's gonna have what all the other training days events have had so far and the office Christmas party, like freestyle battles, like one-on-ones, two-on-twos, whatever, a load of off-the-cuff shit on the day. But it's gonna be really, really good. So like I said, that's another incentive for you to get those checkpoint tickets. We've sold so many checkpoint tickets so far. The capacity of Ministry of Sound is a thousand, but we have no intention of selling that many because it will just be disgusting and sweaty in there if we have that many. So there is going to be a point, wherever day it is, if we sell too many, we're just going to stop and say that's enough. All of you out there who've bought VIP tickets so far, you all have guaranteed entry. Those of you just buying normal tickets, you'll be put in a raffle, and then when we email you, if you chose, if you get what, if you want a ticket, you can accept it. If you can't come on a Sunday, just let us know and we'll give it to someone else. So that's basically it. Shouts to the skaters in the background who are doing it exactly as I told them to do it. Um, shouts to everybody who made the rocky steps exactly how I wanted them to be for this vlog and uh, big up the city of Philly for having us out going for a fucking day. Let's go.